Hey guys, it's Stacy, your favorite louse lady. So this is a client that I literally just had yesterday. Her husband um, scheduled an appointment online, so I didn't really know what I was uh, getting myself into before I got to their house. Um, as you can see, this is an older woman and her husband's older as well. Um, when I first got into the house, her husband actually stopped me and just talked to me a little bit, just stating that, you know, the treatment was for his wife and that she has some eczema and in order to in order for the dermatologist to sort of give her, I guess, medicine for the eczema, they need to get rid of the lice first. So I'm like, okay, that's fine because I mean, a lot of the clients that I have have eczema are really, really dry skin. So I'm used to seeing it. So when I first saw what was going on, I saw that she did have a lot. And what I thought was eczema, she had a lot of. So as I was going through her hair, I come to realize that what she has, what she has wasn't eczema. It was a lot, a lot of lice throughout her head. And I think what the doctor or what the husband thought was eczema was just a lot of lice in her head. This is probably one of the worst infestation I've seen in a very, very long time. Not only did she have a lot of nits, but she had so many bugs. When I looked behind her ear, she had at least 20 bugs behind her ear. Also, she had bugs on her shirt as well. So it was just a lot going on. So as I was doing the treatment, I asked the husband, what did they use for treatment? He said that they use over-the-counter products as well as uh, a subscription, a doctor prescribed, neither of which worked apparently. And he also told me that a doctor actually suggested that he shave his wife's head, which was out of the question and, and I don't blame him. The husband actually found me through Google and I'm so glad he did because I'm just happy to help them in this situation. So as you can see, I was removing the lice by the clumpful. I probably went through maybe six or seven different lice combs and almost a roll of paper towels. The wife, she was a real trooper. She hung on in there. Um, she, at one point, she actually fell asleep. I guess she was feeling some sort of relief. I was basically scratching her head for her. As I was going through her hair, I knew that I wouldn't be able to remove everything all in one day. So going through her hair, I knew it would take hours to remove everything from her head. And I find that whenever I do a treatment and it exceeds two hours, that's when it really starts to hurt the person that I'm treating. Because in her situation, I'm sure she's been itching for a while. She had a lot of bumps, some sores on her head already, and me going through her hair over and over again with the comb was probably making it very, very uncomfortable to her. And I didn't want to torture her at all. Because I feel like, even though she wasn't complaining, I think she didn't want to complain. And I had a feeling and I saw that it was at a certain point becoming very painful to her. So at this point, I'm just trying to remove the bulk of everything just to give her some sort of relief. Then the next day I was going to give her um, her scalp a break Then I was going to come on Friday. So just to let you guys know, when I came to the house, it was a Wednesday. Today's Thursday while I'm recording this video. And I will be coming back to go through her hair again on Friday. So I talked to the husband, told him my thought process. He totally agreed with um, me coming back to go through her hair again on Friday and I will be coming back again sometime next week. I'm not sure when I will be discussing the day and time. And those of you who say I should have just treated everything the same day, I'm going to be honest with you. A day doesn't really make a difference. It isn't like lice multiply by the day. It doesn't really work that way. Plus I wanted to give her scalp a break. It really, really needed a break. And just to let you guys know, I will be checking the husband's head. I didn't have time um, that day, but I will be checking his head once I come back again on Friday.
So I'm sure there's going to be people that will ask, A, did they even know that she had lice? And B, how did how does it get to this level? Well, first off, yes, they did know that she had lice. I mean, how can you not know? And B, it gets to this level where you're not using the right lice products and when you don't really know what you're doing. It sounds like to me, the husband did try to treat his wife. He did get multiple lice products. He also seeked medical attention from a doctor, neither of which worked apparently. And it sounds like he did try to reach out for help, but no one would really help him, which is unfortunate. Not too much longer. Oh, really? Yeah. But I'm gonna have to come back on Friday, but I'm almost done with your head today, okay? Okay. okay. Does your head hurt? It's uh, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. So by the time I was done, her scalp was looking so, so, so much better than it did. I actually could see her scalp at this point. And even though I knew I didn't get rid of everything, I got rid of a good 75% of it. And by the time I left, she was all smile, so I was happy to see that, so... And just to let you guys know, I will be recording again on Friday when I come back so you guys can see the progression of the treatment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share the video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.